Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to this reading. This reading is for all the fire energies, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It is a reading all about your love, just love, your relationship, your um, love life, your sensual life, your intimate life, everything. Everything you need to know, every important F aspect, things that are hidden from you that you need to know, things that are coming. So I hope you'll enjoy this reading. It is from March 31st to April 7th, the, the week of March 20, uh, 31st to April 7th. I hope you'll enjoy 2024 for every fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, my dear viewers, what I've done is I've shuffled and put two, four, six cards. These cards are messages for each and every one of you. You can make them, however, personal and ask something that you get a specific answer just for yourself. So that's why they are closed and I will open them in a few moments. If you're not ready and I'm about to open them, you can put me on pause and then I'm paused to see your answer. You can make it personal by asking anything you want to know and you can mix and match. You can take this and that one. You can take this, this and that or you can take just that one or just that one. It is up to you. Now, my dear viewers, let us begin this reading and see what you need to know. Important factors. Starting with protection. So the first thing you need to know that you are protected. Even though you might, may not see it, you, might, you may not even know it, but you are protected. There's someone, your guardian angel is watching over you. No matter what happens, my dear viewers, uh, uh, my dear um. I'll just say Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Whatever happens, you need to know, especially when it comes to a situation of family or home situations or um, any kind of situation, you are very much protected. That's very important to know. Okay, now I'm going to take... Actually, I did want to take... Yes, I'll take the... Um, before I do the actual tarot, I'm going to open these up. So starting with this one, if you're not ready, you can put me on pause now. So i am just put my glasses on. Let's see what they say. So the first one here says release. So there is some sort of release uh, happening in your life. You could be uh, leaving something behind or detaching from someone or a situation. Um, a release can also be purging and crying over someone. Grieving the loss of someone could also be that. But there is release happening here. The next one here says, one of us is sad or angry and it's creating energetic frequency uh, with each other, with the other. So there is some sort of conflict of energies when, you, when one of you in a relationship or in a situation feeling sad and um, uh, or feeling angry. So if there is anger or sadness, it could be causing a, a bit of conflection. Uh, conflicting energies and your frequencies. So it says stay conscious, be aware of this, be mindful of this. And it is possible to try to help uh, help us elevate together, elevate and free ourselves, freedom, free ourselves from this situation. Chinese Year of the Horse, July, those of you that are born Leo with cancer perhaps, but um, yeah, anger, releasing anger so, uh, so that you can uh, be more in harmony together this one says you've reached an impasse um a situation has reached an impasse and it could be coming to an absolute end no it's out of your hands you're trying everything and it's just not working it's coming to an end this could be a relationship of course this is a love reading a relationship reading this other one says i want to send you a message today but i was afraid afraid to I don't know if you want to hear from me or if I can say the right things to you. So there is a bit of a problem in this situation where fear of communication, uh, fear of um, perhaps, you know, words could be hurting each other. Your words can be hurting each other. So you don't know what to do. You're trying to keep quiet. Um, this is very hard when two elements, like, for example, when air and fire mix, uh, it becomes conflicting. But that's just uh, one example. Uh, this is uh, in one in one. It could be one day or in one week. You could be hearing an answer in regarding to this matter. I see also here people born in January. We're talking about air energies, Aquarius or Capricorn. It is also connected Chinese year of the rat and within one. Here we have within seven. It could be within a week. So timing. Okay. Okay. Now we take this one here. It says, 
I want to feel that way again. So someone doesn't seem to be feeling uh, the way they did before, loved maybe as they did before. So that's that one. I want to feel that way again. And this one says, just being near you is intoxicating. Just being near you is intoxicating. That's gorgeous. Okay. So now that we have established this, let's have a look at four major impacts for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Starting with, wow, the 10 of wealth, money. So for those of you who are having uh, financial or money problems or issues, that is going to certainly come to an absolute ending because this is the card of wealth and generation of money coming a lot of blessings a lot of contentment in this one so that's what's coming let's see the page of swords this shows that there is someone of air energy like i said air energy involved and it's about expression it's about being raw being truthful air energy aquarius gemini libra now my dear viewers what i'm going to do to see what we're talking about so we can understand it, i'm going to take out four um star signs that unite you all that you all have in common that you're dealing with or will be dealing with very soon so the first one being aquarius that's what i was talking about uranus is the um ruler of aquarius when i said air energy and i said aquarius so aquarius first let's see we need three more aries sagittarius uh, leo what unites you okay there's sagittarius oh and the other two just jumped out so we've got earth energy which is virgo taurus capricorn and then we've got water energy all the water energy okay so that's amazing <laughs> okay um the main one seems to be here aquarius uranus air because it's air that conflicts with fire so that's what i'm talking about and, and the first energy we got was um uh, the air energy which is aquarius gemini libra aquarius being number one uniting you all having issues with uh conflicting issues and, and the reality of this matter is it's about truth what aquarius is known for and the air energy here is about the truth the page of souls is all about the truth expression the truth the raw truth um saying it the way it is and that could be very conflicting and that's why perhaps this person is saying i'm having problems i want to call reach out to you but i'm afraid uh what what things will i say what will i say I can, what can I say that's going to be, you know, taken the right way? So there, there could be expression problems with conversations and expression. Okay. Now, uh, let's go to the next card. And it says here, a new beginning is coming. Something new is going to ignite a new way of doing things, a new idea, a new project, a new strategy, a new concept, a new lover. That could be also possible. A new lover. So let's see the last one. And it says justice will prevail. Everything is going to be fair. And ultimately, it's going to be just as in your favor. Very soon, I would say things are going to get better and better for you and improve. And what has been going on, what's been wrong and injustice is going to be prevailing and justice and, you know, all working in your favor. Put it that way. Let's have a look at three more important factors. So three important factors. I'll put this here. We have. The Nine of Cups, wishes and dreams. Wishes and dreams coming true. Being granted, manifesting right in front of your eyes. Things you've always wanted are happening. And that's why we got the Ten of Pentacles. That's the first thing that could manifest, which is uh, wealth. And wealth, when you have wealth, you have less to worry. You have more money to have fun and to do the things you want to do. And there's no restrictions, no boundaries. Let's take the second one. And wishes and grants are not just money. It's also about love. And nine is about emotional fulfillment. So um, something is going to be done. With the ace of wands, there could be someone new coming in your life. Some magic is igniting something spectacular like that. So that's that one. And then we've got, oh my goodness, we've got the page of swords again. Twice. Now when something comes twice, it just intensifies how this is impacting everyone. And I feel like it's to do with Uranus very strong this is um aquarius going through this or people that are dealing with aquarius my dear aries my dear leo my dear sagittarius you're dealing with uh, air energy with the truth and the truth is cutting through everything and making a uh, situation reach an impasse where things are out of your hands uh, you're losing control in one area of your life and i feel to your love life because the truth keeps coming and you've got to come 
uh, to terms with it. This is really, and, and no matter what happens, you are protected, yes, but uh, this could be finally helping you reach to a certain level of detachment and release. Slowly the truth is coming and coming and being exposed and cutting its way through until you know that there's nothing in your hands. Ultimately, this situation could come to an absolute ending by knowing that it's out of your control and by seeing the truth over and over, having the clarity to know that there's nothing left in your hands to do. Nothing is in your hands in this regard. That's what I'm seeing here today. Release. Anger. There's anger. There's um, there's conflicting energies here. And one more. I'll take see what happens. The emperor. Having the power and the authority. And this is to do with Aries. Aries energy. Um, showing that fire energy is also involved in this. And we've got Sagittarius over here. So you know. But what it, what it shows to me is that the emperor is wanting to live the life you want. Somebody want, is not living the life they want. You want to be in control of your life. You want to be in control of your journey. You want to make the decisions. You don't want to be compromising all the time. So maybe because why I'm saying this, maybe there's so much that has happened. Uh, it's help, It's made you feel that there's nothing more you can do. You did everything you could, and now it's reached to an impasse. It's just something is not the same as if you're not feeling... Okay, it says, I want to feel that way again. Like you don't feel the way you used to, or the person that you're dealing with, your loved one, your, your person, might not be feeling the way they did before. So something has reached an impasse, something is falling apart, and you want to stay in control. That's what you're trying to do, to stay in control. And I feel like you will. You will be in control very soon. That's why the emperor is here. The emperor gives you that. Uh, it's the major arcana that shows you will be in absolute control of your life and your journey. Let's see three important factors for everybody. So, oh, wow, they all came out. Mm. Okay, so now there could be a reconcilia There could be a reconciliation. Those of you, some of you who have had issues, um, there is someone from the past returning in your life. So there will be reconciliations. So that's that one. But some of you um, might be dealing with someone that might be um, going somewhere on a retreat with someone else or you might find out that someone's gone away with someone or spending quality time with someone or there could be some of you that are intoxic going with this person that is absolutely uh, feeling intoxicated when they're near you so um, some of you are going on a, a trip maybe a, a retreat a short um, sort of get a getaway uh, just so that you can be near each other and that is very intoxicating okay so that's beautiful um, and it says for others the majority here reconciliation and then we've got pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you and what is cautioned here because we have the page of swords twice the impasse the release it tells me not being able to talk, afraid of words, could be clashing, anger, sadness. It shows that there is a, a relationship that's reaching an impasse. And all the signs are cautioning you. All the signs are letting you know that this is not going to work, no matter what. Because for one main reason, the truth. It is the truth that nobody likes <laughs> is the one that's coming and uh, cutting through the situation and putting an end to it ultimately ultimately it's going to go, go to an end because it's reached an impasse there's nothing that can be done it's out of everybody's hands that's what an impasse is when something you can't do anything about it it's just no matter what you do it just doesn't work let's take two messages for everyone for all aries Leo Sagittarius. Okay, so we have two messages. It says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Now, this is this person, I feel. This person that you are going on a retreat with could be a new love. Could be this new igniting of a new love. So um, you can see that their love is incredible. You might be going away together. And when they're near you, they're absolutely intoxicated. This could be the person that, um, this is the person that you might be meeting. This could be the new, be the beginning, the new love that's starting. But, um, just being near you is intoxicating. So beautiful. So it says, look deep and you will see my love. It's as deep as the ocean. So somebody truly, truly loves you, I feel. 
and I feel like this is, uh, you know, for those of you who, are, who you haven't met this person yet, you will be meeting someone very soon. And the other one says, soulmate. It says, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this, have faith, and they will manifest physically. So they are coming. Your soulmate is coming very soon. And it could be, again, this uh, new passion that's igniting with someone that is going to take you to the next level and being together is going to be absolutely intoxication so that's that's what's happening and that's what's coming be prepared for this um my dear aries leo and sagittarius okay um now what i'm going to do is find out i wanted to know a few more things just oh yes i want to know an idea this is very nice here the truth for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I just want one message perhaps or two. Okay, that's one. Mm, water energy. Now we know water energy. We've got Cancer. And so let's have a look. I'll just put this one second out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first one we got here is Cancer. Now Cancer is a water energy. So you could be igniting with someone that's Cancer. This person truly loves you. I feel this is the person that really um, gets intoxicated when they're with you. They really want to be with you. Water energy cancer here, very strong. And this could be your soulmate. See, this is so uh, amazing. And, you know, I, I know like water energy with fire go really well together because uh, the, the actual you, my dear Aries, Leo Sagittarius, give a warmth to water energy. So all the water energy go all around you. They always want to be near you. So yes, of course, uh, this will apply when it says um, just being near you is intoxicating because they get a certain warmth that um, spark, sparks their um, sensuality, intimacy, your intimate life becomes spectacular. So cancer seems to be uh, one clue that could be your soulmate. And it says within three months, you'll get to know who your soulmate is. Meet them and get to know them within three months. And it says here, the chariot. So great victory also. A great victory. Overcoming all obstacles and meeting the one. And I feel like water energy, very strong. And I truly feel that your soulmate could be a very strong cancer. An amazing cancer. So that's possible. Very strong possibility here. Okay. Now, the next one says, so we've got a victory here, the chariot. Here it says dolphins, and dolphins are connected to Pisces. Could be another water energy. Pisces is all about peace, harmony, helpfulness. Uh, there is communication. Effective communication will help, but you need to really release, like it says here, to be able to see what is the problem with how to communicate without hurting each other, maybe a little bit of playfulness, maybe a little bit of humor, maybe not so blunt like um, the like the, um, the page of souls, not so uh, straightforward maybe. I mean, I myself, uh, I'm like that too, very straightforward, blunt to the point, but sometimes I try to use some diplomacy so and some love and compassion so it doesn't become too harsh. The truth is very painful, and not everybody can take it, can handle it. You can't handle the truth. Uh, it says, you know, in one show, okay. It says in tune with others and collaborating well. Joy is going to be there for you. Happiness is going to be there if you're able to collaborate and if you're able to communicate in a, a little bit of more compassion, a little bit more understanding and a little bit more of empathy, putting yourself in the shoes of the person in their place and to be able to be more helpful and understanding where they're coming from. So effective communications, 12, connected again to Pisces. This is this could be to do with Pisces. So there's a clue about water energy here. We've got Cancer and Pisces, both water energy. And um, dolphins are also about happiness and intelligence. Connected to the letter A, A for apple. Um, here we've got K for um, kiwi fruit and W for willow. The king of water. This is also the king of cups, by the way. King of cups, yeah. This is water energy, very strong. And it can be Cancer number one, but it can also be Pisces or uh, Scorpio. So communications and 12 could be uh, 12 days. You might be actually, or 12 up to 12 weeks, where you will actually find out uh, this could be also part of your soulmate connection or somebody that you might be reconciliating with coming from your past. That's all possible. Now, my dear viewers, what I'm going to do is go and start clarifying and seeing what everything means. We're going to start with the Ten of Pentacles. 
Let's see what the Ten of Pentacles is all about. The truth. The Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Right. It's connected to the Emperor and an impasse. Wow. This is the Emperor. So we've got this card here. And this is the impasse. Have a look at this well, that I was talking about. So that you can see it in pictures. <laughs> it's better sometimes in words. So when I say an impasse, it's out of your hands. It's a Two of Swords. The Two of Swords shows that there's a relationship that has reached an impasse because of the truth. This person is being truthful. Even though the other party, which it could be any of you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, might find you might be finding it hard to accept. This person could be a Leo, my dear, and you could be a Sagittarius. You could be a Leo or Sagittarius, and your partner Aries is trying to say to you, "Look, it's I want this, I want release, I want to live the life I want, I want a bit of freedom, I don't want to be constantly battling anger, sadness. I, I want." to have my freedom and it's reached an impasse because the truth is this person is being honest and they do want to release themselves from this situation but maybe perhaps you're holding on and you don't want to be released uh, from this because you have a lot of heart a lot of passion you know there's a lot of love between you and this person maybe there is a lot of love but i feel like it's reached a point where now it's being taken out of your hands because of the truth and it's reaching an impasse. And then finally, this person wants to have control over their life. There could be a situation that's very controlling also, because this is about control. It could be a situation where somebody's trying to control someone, and then the relationship is reached to a level where everybody's angry and fighting and conflicting. Uh, conflicting energies are just making it reach to a point where you just can't be uh, with each other. You can't even communicate with each other. It's becoming that hard to even call. What will I say? What will I text? What will I say? Whatever I say is going to be painful. Uh, so it'll reach to a point where ultimately, when it's an impasse, it means it reaches to a point where you can't talk anymore. You just try to keep away from each other so that you don't hurt each other. And then finally, it takes time sometimes for people to realize that this is not going to work. And finally, you release yourself from this situation and it becomes out of your control, there's nothing more you can do, an absolute ending. And this shows to me, finally, it, this is going to happen, and it's giving you a timing. It is at a time where you might be uh, offered, now also the emperor is about an offer, an offer that might come at a time where you are going through this stress and this release and coming to terms with an ending, an offer you can't refuse, and that brings you a lot of money, because that's what the Ten of Pentacles is. It's earth energy, it's material, it's about money, and it shows... Uh, the emperor is about power and, and uh, being offered a, a managerial job, like being a team leader or a manager or up, uh, um, uh, ranking up in your position at work or what you've been offered. More money, more money, much more money, a lot of money and a lot of power and prestige. So it's happening at a time like this and you could be dealing with someone that has strong areas within them. But it is coming to an impasse. Something is out of your hands completely. Now let's have a look at... The Nine of Cups, your wishes and dreams come true. Let's see what your wishes and fulfillment will give you. Nine of Cups for all Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Right, well, your wishes. The first thing that your wish and dreams are going to do is bring on your soulmate. Remember we said a soulmate situation? Well, a soulmate situation is coming very, very soon. The Two of Cups is um, a soul union that is made in heaven. You become strong together. You heal together. You find bits and pieces of each other. You can talk till till the next day uh, without issues, without problems. Everything is smooth sailing when you meet your soulmate because you're on the same level of frequency and everything goes beautifully. It comes at a time where you are torn between whether you shouldn't stay, should or go or stay in a situation where you're torn between two uh, decisions and indecisive not able to make a, make a decision it is then good news comes and then you're finally there now that's probably when this uh, perhaps this cancer this water energy you have the other one which was also pisces this water energy could be coming in your life and could be your soulmate so that that could be very very strong possibility that's part of your wishes and dreams come true i also feel like this is going to happen very soon and in regard to timing i feel like perhaps Another seven. Now it could be seven week, uh, seven days, like a week, or seven weeks from now. But it's certainly taking place without a doubt. I also feel, like, oh my God, we've got here uh, not three months before. I said three months, one to three months. 
within one to three months. That's why I've got timing so that you know timing from one to three months. This is happening and it is going to be during the summer. Wow. That's another clue there. And the chariot, of course, is about um, July for some of you to know that. And it is also about cancer and a very strong cardinal masculine energy, water energy. So that's what possibly is happening. And um, that's part of the wishes. There might be more. Let's just have a look. And a new beginning and relocation and freedom. So it's giving you so much. Uh, your uh, dreams come true, wishes come true, desires. It's giving you a new beginning where you understand everything, a lot of understanding, a lot of clarity. You know why certain things happened and blocked that aha moment. Oh, yes, now I know. Aha. Uh -huh. So that great victory again. The chariot is about victory. This is a great victory. A lot of um, a lot of epiphanies, a great outcome, relocating to a better place, moving. You know how you were torn between whether you should or not with the two of pentacles. This one here, I just showed you. I said good news is coming and you're able to move. Yes, you'll be able to move. Maybe that money is also going to be helping you to be able to move to a better place, a much more better place. And finally, you are going to start a new beginning that you are going to be feeling so free. No cares in the world, no worries. And taking a leap of faith maybe with... Uh, water energy like cancer pisces or scorpio so that is wonderful now let's move on to the next level and i wanted to know about this ace of one this passion that's igniting let's see what this is all about aries leo sagittarius and my god in heaven right after an ending something is ending hurtful truth painful truth that pierces the heart that hurts the heart because it's the truth which we've been talking about Right, we've been talking about this truth piercing the heart. This is coming to an end. This is separation and finally a breakup. So something is coming to an absolute ending, and it's after that. Now, for some of you, you could be breaking up with a water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, possibly. But also, it shows because we're asking about what is igniting right after this ending. Something wonderful is igniting again. Could be with someone of water energy. Where's the other water energy? There we go. This could be a new beginning, water energy. Again, we've got Cancer and we've got possibly Pisces and Scorpio. So I'll leave this one here, but we'll just put this one there so that you can see water energies. And we've got Cancer being number one. Then the next one will be Pisces and Scorpio. So again, you'll be meeting someone with water energy. This time they might have fire in them. And talking about fire could be Sagittarius. They could have Sagittarius, Pisces possibly or Sagittarius Cancer or Sagittarius Scorpio because we have fire energy nominated here between everybody so fire and water together very interesting now uh, that's part of your wishes now let's move on controlling issues come to an absolute end with this see this is what we're talking about wow uh, I was asking about this right so what happened I got this again and controlling issues are going to be healed situations that were controlling binding uh, not being able to be free to talk the way you want to see the person. All that is going to be over once the situation ends. A new beginning that brings you a new lover. And with it comes a lot of sunshine. You see that? Now the sunshine shows that there's going to be healing, radiance in your relationship. It's going to be spectacular. Um, and I feel like this uh, lover's card could be in regard to um, the water energy we're talking about. And cancer, again, I will say being number one. So that could be a very strong scenario with the lovers. And um, I'll just put the lovers in here to make it easy. In this new beginning, we're seeing, uh, we're seeing lovers. Sorry. And we're seeing healing. So healing the situations uh, in this relationship. That's what I'm seeing here. So the lovers. And, of course, we've got the cancer here showing from one to three months. All this is going to be over. Something's ending and something wonderful is igniting, giving you a beautiful soul, someone with a beautiful soul that you will unite with, you will connect with. This person is going to be so healing. The sun itself is very healing, very healing energy and um, a lot of radiance and a lot of healing, a lot of warmth, a lot of romance begins with someone magnificent. And this particular someone could be cancer, water energy. They could have fire in them. And this could be your soulmate overall. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about the soulmate here. 
the soulmate. Absolutely. And this is all to do with the Ace of Wands, this new beginning that brings on an incredible soulmate. So remember that soulmate is coming in this new beginning. Someone wonderful, someone that you might even go on a holiday with, someone that might be intoxicating. They get, um, just being near them could be intoxicating. That's why we've got this uh, intoxication. You can only be intoxicated when you're around someone that you're overwhelmed with feelings uh, for and, you know, with, that you become uh, overwhelmed and intoxicated being with your soulmate. So it's all part of the uh, grand plan of getting you started in a new, beautiful new passion that's coming, a wonderful new passion. All right, now, my dear viewers, let's move forward and find out what is the story about the truth that I keep talking about, <laughs> the page of, okay, the page of swords. What is this all about? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Right, it says a little bit of patience and this is going to be over and what's going to make it over where you're going to rest from a major battle is the truth. The swords are always the truth, so that you know. The swords are the truth. So I'm um, pointing out the truth. And the new beginning, remember, we had the Ace of Swords that bring on the new beginning where you can understand everything. Everything becomes understandable. When you meet your soulmate after a breakup, then you know why. Why everything had to become so difficult and so out of your hands and everything you did, everything you tried, every attempt failed. It's when some amazing destiny is destined for you and it's coming so a little bit of patience you will see a lot of stability in your love life in your emotions everything will stabilize you will feel at peace you'll feel rested like a relief the battle's over the war is over the fighting the the anger the sadness the tears all that stops and you get to rest, you get to think, you get to take stock of what happened and where you went and why they said this and why did I go through and why this and that. And then you realize it was just the truth that you couldn't bear at that moment because you loved that person. You were so deeply immersed in the feelings of love and you couldn't bear life without your comfort zone, your blanket, your loving uh partner you just couldn't do without them so you couldn't handle the separation but when that happens finally you get when the truth releases everything and then you get to heal and then meet a person where you heal together then you understand why all this happened so this could be also connected to someone that has earth energy in them virgo taurus capricorn and we've got earth energy here feeling unhappy overwhelmed this is completely over especially those of you who are fire energy dealing with earth energy see we have urge earth energy you might be even working with this earth energy but there is fire sagittarius being number one sagittarius leo or aries with earth energy virgo taurus capricorn so remember that that's what um this finally it's going to be a finale and ultimately there will be an impasse there is no more future there is no more ground to hold this building it's falling apart so it's liable to fall apart if not today tomorrow it's reached an impasse it means it's out of your hands now let's finally see the justice what will justice do for everyone wow and the justice is for this to completely come to an end an absolute end do you see that how incredible was that money is coming that is going to support your foundation so there might be a, um, a building a home fighting over um uh, dividing situations that's why we've got justice uh you will get justice you will get what is owing to you money will be divided fair and square you might be seeing that there might be some greed or some anger or someone trying to hold on to the money but the fact of the matter is each one of you aries uh, leo sagittarius you are going to get what is justly what is uh destined for you what is rightfully yours the amount of the money that is destined for you so this unexpected large amount of money is exactly what you deserve when there is a division of selling a home or properties or assets uh, justice will prevail for you so that's very important message at the end and the high priestess and happiness so there's the justice again justice will prevail and you are going to be very happy abundance that's why they said from the beginning they said you are protected no matter what happens 
you are protected and abundance is coming to you and a lot of happiness your dream home justice justice again twice could be dealing with a libra also air energy uh finally you are going to be very happy that's what the message is the most important factor of the message is ultimately you will be very very happy nothing can change that and that is the end of your reading i hope you enjoyed it my dear viewers do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think please support me by seeing the video all the way to the end because they are longer than i anticipate so i'm always um tech for technical reasons just support me by watching the videos all the way to the end that's the greatest support you can do for me and give me a thumbs up let me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't a lot of love and light to each and every one of you namaste